Good morning, everybody. It's Kelly. Hope you're doing okay on this kind of gloomy last couple days that we've had. Um, so I'm here this morning to continue our Devo series on risk. Um, follow Jesus in an age of social distancing. And today we get to talk about a deep dive into scripture, which is why I am at my kitchen table because growing up, my one of my like greatest memories of my mom was waking up and finding her at the kitchen table with a cup of tea. She wasn't a coffee drinker at the time. I made her a coffee drinker, which is an interesting story. Um, and her Bible. And my mom almost every day would be sitting at the table, reading her Bible, drinking her tea before us kids got up and, um, really made an impression on me as a kid to see my mom spending so much time into scripture. So talking about deep dive into scripture today, it just seemed fitting to uh, meet with you at the kitchen table um, where my mom's always been. So um, scripture for the day is 1 Thessalonians 2.13 that says, and we will never stop thinking God that when we preach this message to you, we didn't think of the words that we spoke as being our own, you accepted what we said as the very word of God, which of course it was. And this word continues to work in those who believe. This word continues to work in those who believe. Um, and the the word of God, <laughs> um, think about how powerful it is to stand on the word of God in this age right now where there's a lot of noise going on around us. I wake up a lot and I think, man, what am I supposed to think about this? Or how am I supposed to react to this? Or people are saying all these things around me. Where can I um, find the deep, deep truth that I'm seeking? And while I've looked for that in articles and blogs and listened to podcasts, which is great, um, as Christians, we get to stand on the word of God as the ultimate truth and as the foundation for everything um, that we believe. And so I've been really challenged lately to think about what does it look like to look at everything with this this mindset of being built upon the Bible and God's word and um, what would biblical justice look like? What would it look like to approach um, the COVID pandemic from a um, biblical lens of, of how to respond? Um, and really, I think the, the way to do that is by spending time in the Word of God. And I know that um, I've definitely subscribed a little bit to the consumer culture where I'm always just like gathering little bits of information everywhere um, and sound bites. And um, that really, I don't often enough sit down and spend like a day, not even a day, like an hour diving into God's word and what God's word says. And so um, I think today, like that's a challenge for myself, like it's raining outside. So I don't have the distraction of wanting to be out and about. Um, what would it look like to pick up a scripture passage and really dive deep into it? There's a lot of commentaries online. If you go to BibleGateway.com, um, there's commentaries there. If you, um, Actually, if you come to Mercy, we have some things that we can like loan to you uh, where you can really dive into those words and into the scripture, um, looking at historical context and meaning and looking at the words. And suddenly that becomes deeper and richer and feels like you have something to, to set yourself upon. Um, when I was in college, I was a, gosh, I was like a triple, kind of like a triple major. So I did... Um, family and children's ministry, and Bible and religion and sociology. And um, as as a ministry and a Bible major, um, one of the things that we had to do was do a biblical interpretation class where all we did was deep dive into the book of Romans. And I would spend hours upon hours um, going to the library and just searching up words and looking at different scripture pass passages. I ended up having to write a 100-page paper on the book of Romans. So here you go about my biblical exegesis. Um, and I just think to this day, like how much I learned by diving into the book of Romans. Every time I turn to that now in, in, in my Bible, I just think of all this context that I learned. Now, I am not my 21 year old self. I do not have hours to spend at the library. Like you, I have things, I have friends, I have a job, I have, um, house responsibilities where I, you know, 
the yard has to get mowed and things like that. Um, so I know that spending hours isn't really a potential for me, um, but I'm wondering, again, like what would it look like to spend half an hour, an hour, every few weeks just really diving into a scripture passage? So that is um, my encouragement to you today. Like what would it look like to deep dive? I know for myself, I want to be I want to have that faith like my mom and my grandma who would be sitting at the kitchen table in the morning, reading their Bible, drinking their tea. Um, and so that takes in me, who is not always very good at building um, the discipline to do something over and over again and the discipline to do things even when I don't necessarily want to do them. Um, what would it look like to find that balance between not being legalistic about studying our Bible, but at the same time, like really spending some time being disciplined to deep dive into the Bible, to God's word. So find a scripture passage today. Um, I think that I'm going to start with uh, the book of um, Ephesians because I, I really love Ephesians and um, I love Paul's prayer in um chapter 1, verse 15, for spiritual wisdom, because that's something that I'm seeking in my life right now is spiritual wisdom. So I think I'm going to take just that passage of Ephesians 1, 15 to 23, and to really spend some time in that today uh, and see, see what God is saying. So that's my encouragement to you. Deep dive. I think we can all do this together as a church. We're, we're a church that loves scripture. Um, we love learning more about the Bible. So let's dig into it together. All right, guys, have a good day. Stay uh, dry outside and um, hope you find something um, fun and encouraging and life-giving today.